Hello and welcome to my new video, how to draw using one point perspective. First draw a horizontal line and then draw a dot in the middle of this horizontal line. Next, draw two diagonal lines that meet at this dot or vanishing point. To make this into a railway track, draw a series of horizontal lines that get closer together as they go towards the vanishing point. Now draw two more diagonal lines from the vanishing point. This will be a road that is parallel to the railway track that we've just drawn. Next we could draw another diagonal line just to the left of these two. Now on this new diagonal line we need to draw a short vertical line which will be the near corner of a house that we can draw. Then from the top of this upright vertical line we draw another diagonal line Next you could draw a triangle for the side of the roof and then a square below this for the side of the house. From the top of the triangle of the roof we could draw another diagonal that goes towards the vanishing point and this will be the top of the roof. And then to cut it short so it doesn't go on forever to the vanishing point we need to copy the side of the triangle on the right and copy that angle for the back of the house and then we'll get a roof that will work in one point perspective. Now to this house you could add a door and some windows maybe and so the door, the uprights of the door will be vertical and the uprights of the window will be vertical and the diagonals will follow the diagonals that we've already got Again, going towards this one vanishing point for one point perspective, you need one vanishing point and all of the parallel lines need to go towards that one vanishing point. So now we have a horizon with a railway track going to the vanishing point and then a road on the left also going towards the vanishing point and a house in one point perspective as well, just a simple house. Now on the right hand side we've got some space so I'll do two more diagonal lines going towards the vanishing point and then the third one as well and then on this third diagonal line on the right I'll put some upright verticals and I might make these into lamp posts or maybe trees I'll make them into trees and to do that we just need to find the top of one of the trees the top of one of these vertical lines and then to draw a line from this top base all the way to the vanishing point and then just to make it easy for myself I'll make all the trees the same height but they're going away into perspective into the distance so I'll just need one diagonal line to cut them all off at the same height. And so the trees that we draw they can be just very simple trees like um, a cypress tree or a poplar tree and just keep them very very simple so that they're really repeating the shapes and therefore you'll get more of a hang of how one point perspective works by not over complicating things too much. So they're going to get smaller as they go away because that's what perspective does they're always going to go away towards the vanishing point because that's where we're looking as the viewer to the drawing we're looking towards the vanishing point and all of the parallel lines which are in the environment that we're drawing are also going towards the vanishing point so that makes it a very clear image to draw now for the railway track we probably need to put in a bit more detail so that we can actually get the bars of metal going away into the distance and then the wooden sleepers or the sleepers of the railway track being sort of um, brick-like shapes, wooden planks which go away into the distance and as they go away into the distance they get smaller and also if you're using like I am a 4B pencil or a soft pencil you could just press with the pencil slightly less um, as you go towards the vanishing point and therefore the lines will be slightly darker in the foreground and then by the midground and the background the lines will be slightly paler and that will help gain that sense of perspective as well as just using one point perspective if you change the tone of the lines that you're using as well it's just quite useful sometimes so we could also think about maybe adding some tone to this drawing some light and dark so maybe if I was to do that I might put 
the light source on the right hand side and have some shadows going off towards the left but maybe before we do that it's a bit empty on the left hand side around the house so we could put some some other things so what we could do next perhaps add a few more trees maybe we could put a little bush in here as well let's put a fence around this and the fence again the top of the line of the fence and the bottom of the line of the fence will be going towards the vanishing point unless it's horizontal and then it will just be going straight like the line of the horizon is straight. The horizontal line doesn't need to be a straight line like it's a desert or a diagram. Often the horizontal line which is the height of the eye of the viewer of the image. That's height is often obscured by hills or buildings or other things. So in this drawing, we could just make a range of hills which are very far in the distance. With these two parallel lines on the right, rather than make them into a road, I think I'll make them into a little river. And I just need to have two curves that continually wind away towards the vanishing point that don't sort of stretch out either left or right of these two diagonal lines and that will more or less get you a river which is a bit straight but is also wavy and then maybe I could put some reflections of the trees in the river something like that so I think with this avenue of trees I could put a little path to the right hand side as well that goes behind the trees and that will make the trees come forward because they've got something behind them so therefore they're going to stand in front of the thing that's behind them One point perspective is a very useful technique or device to use in a drawing to create some sense of a three dimensional quality. Now, I would say that the actual, you know, reality of the world is quite complex, and one point perspective makes things quite simple, but it also makes them quite readable as um, a three dimensional quality on the two dimensional surface of the paper. So, it's a useful thing to be able to do but it does have its limitations as well. But I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, for many more of my drawings, particularly drawings in one point perspective, two point perspective, many other drawings there too. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, and thank you very much for watching. I'll speed up the video from here on and see you next time. Bye bye. So thank you very much for watching my video. I have over 170 videos of how to draw now. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see them all. Thank you. Bye-bye.